videonun sponsoru CSGO.net. CSGO.net, CSGO kasaları açabileceğin bir site. Bakiye yüklemelerinde white kodunu kullanarak %25 fazladan bakiye kazanabilirsin. Şansın denemek isteyenler için link açıklamada. But what can they really find? Trimbo scouts them out. It's Panic to swing, but he can't acquire anything. Instead, kills are, tra kills are traded from Anhuin and company. So let's see how things go for big, as they have got the man advantage. But Izzy is behind them. Oh, what was that? Kushner being deleted from the server with a quick tap to the head. Four on two. The terrorists they have control the bomb about site. So many angles. It doesn't so want Inferno. That's for the coffin. Now the utility rolls in, the key side does as well. First player Aiden going doesn't down. doesn't really have the appropriate come back. through. We'll be blocking off his visibility just a little bit. Molly will be extinguished. x is waiting for them to go in. And now they're going to be able to find him. But can they get the kill? Yes. And who to take him down? Bit on the other side. Only good for one. But Izzy has got a flick to show just a little bit of dominance while the bomb has been dropped. Can they pick it up in front? Oh! Oh, what a hairline shot there onto Krimbo yeah. and that. I think they're trying to pin service because they do have the library smoke up, but Izzy is here and Izzy is the man you've got your eye on, but he misses that shot. Can't quite get it. And now he will be peeking out wider. He's swinging through, trying to find someone in the back lines. They aren't turning around to take him down. He's got two kills somehow. Cider should be going down soon. And indeed, it's Krimbo to escort him into the grave. But Izzy is not done yet. He's looking to get aggressive through that smoke. And he will be able to deny this bomb front. But there's a swinging Krimbo who's trying to defend Panix. Panix now swings out instead. Trying to find the place with the smoke, but he can't trace it instead. Just wait for the dissipation, but Mitt has been granted time to come around from behind. Panix left in a one versus two to try and save the day. This is going to be a tough one. He has banana and coffins to worry about. He swings out, he gets the first shot, puts himself in a nice little one versus one, but now it's on this. We come around these angles, he misses the oh, no scope. We'll trap Quimbo out of the open. Maxbang is there and they swung out. Three of the T's though, they've made their way towards the A bomb site. Izzy spots one with the shoulder. Oh, he. There's a flashbang coming in, but Hades. Oh, he almost came out on top of that duel. But Izzy survived with three points of felt, and Nuno and Prosis just have to try to fight for their lives here now. But the, one of those lives will be lost. Prosis. All he can hope for is a bit of damage now because he does not have control of the bomb. Nor does he have much of a grip on this round. Production, can we get a replay of Izzy peeking at the road long? It would be really nice if we could. It's Izzy to try and make a move. The flash will blind him and force him off the angle. It's Kushner to go down, but they should know side up. Delay the push. A bit of a crossfire setup here as Myth can back up his teammate, but he has sword to worry about constantly. Flashbang in. X Cloud gets the first kill. Myth following it up as well. He just has to try to defend his bomb site now, and he's playing it Ooh. to perfection. Panix, one on two. Oh. This is something that has worked out for nine, though. They've oh. literally cleared out Banana, so they don't need to be worrying about this. So they're going to leave one player there. And new one, though. Nice shot to the head of X Cloud. That opens up the A bomb site for them to be able to move in. Izzy, though, he has the angle. He gets the first shot. Help his pit player. And that's Brotus who's looking to play the bicycle angle. Taps out. And that's Cider X to go down. Now, all left to Kushina. Needs to come up huge. They know he's on short. Hades will be taking a peek, but that's himself taking a knee. Goes down, and that's all about damage for the terrorist side. So at the very least, they're going to information, but they don't know that they're about to walk into a bit of a stack here. Two, his three M4 player. is not likely to be safe at this point. He's swinging out. His position is known, but he knows he can't take this. less deal. risky to deal with on T-side, though. So I'm really scared at this point. Krimbo's moved through. That smoke and taken down Cider already. So advantage going though. Oh my god, Krimbo's not stopping at all. Advantage is doubled up by the T-side. Krimbo, he knows where this last player <laughs> is. Nine, though. Uh, they are trying to desperately save two weapons. Uh, it would be an improvement from both of the previous rounds, but it seems like that will not be allowed to happen. Is he? 
hiding away, reveals his position. That is a miss. It's about the here and now. It's about Izzy having the AWP again. It's about them trying to get aggressive on Banana, but no one will be found. Rimbo will reveal himself, but he switches his prey a little bit too early. Around, but you are on the CT side. You have to take whatever you can get. Myth getting two quick kills towards apartments. That pretty much uh, decides the fate for this half, at the very least. But there's still uh, 50 seconds for a new one. He has the bomb. He has an AK. And it needs a miracle to make this work. Two opposing their own smoke? Behind. Okay, they're pushing through their own smoke. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot of information being given to Hades as they clock from Arthur's Banix, though. He doesn't get overwhelmed quite yet. He picks up one before he falls, and that just leaves the pit player who doesn't remain on the map for much longer. And there's the bomb going down. Our Primbo and Hades have quite a bit of work to do. Moving straight into the bomb site, Izzy is able to, well, it's Cider actually to catch him, but Krimbo having taken one, he just needs to get two more, but the bomb is taken down, and there is no kit, there is no armor, there is a smoke and a flash, though. Finally makes use of that utility as he moves into the bomb site, the flashbang not So far, nothing really to be found, and as I say that, he swings out, dodges the nades as well in the back line, takes a quick head off, and that will be a five versus four big, uh... Probably giving him a few high fives for that one. Yeah, this is huge. Getting that first pick, especially off of that deagle, with pretty much no damage being done for the CT side. That is the foot they needed through the door. And nine, they've won the piss round, but they need to make it more. Process, another pick coming through with a deagle. And now the utility will be coming through on the B bomb site. The bomb is fully committed. 35 seconds on the clock as they finally move in. Panic needs to be hitting these shots if he wants his teammates to be able to follow up, but an eagle will be enough to take down one. x Cloud and Izzy now, they have these three different angles to worry about as they move in. What's up? Panix is trying to smoke them off. It'll be a little bit late. They can move fast and they will choose to do so. Process misses a shot that he could not afford to miss. And Panix is given a chance to try and recover. He will not be able to spray the man down. And in the meanwhile, tries to fade away. But instead, he's really just buying time for Krimbo, who's crept in from behind. You've also got to keep an eye out on Anuwen, who's got the two Great position for it, but he can't control the spray. It's so hard to do that. And now it's all on Crimbo and Hades. Can they get this job done with the two Deagles when the T's are in a perfect post one position? Yeah, I think these positions are too difficult to deal with, but uh, yeah. Hades now being left alone. What he's hoping for here just to get a little bit of damage done before he goes down. Because I think even running away is not exactly ideal for him because they eventually will go for the hunt they have a fair bit of money to work with they aren't going to be strapped for cash anytime soon hades though he's picked up the mac 10 and now the prospect of running away is getting juicier and juicier picked up a second as well Kushiner or Kushiner is looking to make his name come through by executing a ct here and there but panics trying to find his way around the smoke but x has already picked up one. Respectively, wait, they just got so yeah, many kills. That's it. really cool. But it's not like... It's harder to win around on the CT side solo. That's, that's that is true. what it is. And that's why we suck on CT side in our matches. <laughs> oh. Myth though, he's got on his team the opening that they need. Panics already having been taken down. And processes to fall as well. CTs again keep finding themselves in a position where they're down a man before the clock has even gone past a minute. The solid entry is coming out from 9 and Nguyen though swinging out at the right time. CZ75 working in his favor and Krimbo. Krimbo, Krimbo, you're stuck on the bomb side alone. Oh. How can you maneuver? 80s. He's in a great position HP to stop. being lost all across the board for the T side before they can even make their move towards the B bomb side. The sandwich not coming through, and apparently, despite the stack, they're slowly clawing their way back into this round, or rather, quick, very quickly actually, as Izzy goes for the bomb plant. Krimbo takes down Izzy as well, leaves Myth in a one versus four. It's not likely he can pull this off. It's all about the damage. Can he find any? Yes, he can. First kill goes his way. He's got a great sure. positioning. First man in, and now the cavalry is pushing in. Karimbo, oh. he's stuck behind the Molotov. It'll be so difficult to get oh. anything out of this. But he manages to get two before he goes down. That could be huge. And he has paved the way for his team to come back into this round. Panix has the AWP and he's leading the charge over here. Not what you expect to see, but it could be 
what they need to take down the new player. X Cloud is, however, tagged down and taken down through the smoke process, making quick work of him, leaving Cider and Izzy to try and defend this bomb site. Izzy on the AWP is blocked off, and Cider is taken down. Izzy has got to save at this point. He's going to maybe go for a few shots through the smoke when they're going for it. But even then, it's not likely to work out. He doesn't have the angle, and there is the defuse going through at the end of the day. I love this. I love this. Krimbo, he's gotten so aggressive. He's gone all the way behind them. They're never going to expect it. But there's 30 seconds left on the clock, and Big have gone for the gamble. There's also Molotov down, so he's got so much time to make this exact play happen. Banix on the AWP will not let anyone pass him, but Kushina just comes through huge with his first kill. Hades and Adwin do clean. Banix, however, forced off, doesn't pull the trigger, doesn't want to reveal his position. Process is waiting for them to move in. The tech tank jumps up, but it can't get the first. There's one player at the back line. It's Kushina to find one. x Cloud comes in for the second, but there just That's isn't the match. They're completely denied in the opportunity on top of what they're going on. Now, Post is getting quite aggressive here towards second mid. He's picked up three. And there's only one response to it. Three versus two. Panics missing that shot. That could be the game changer here, but process is not. I think that information is going to be crucial because he can call in the rotation anytime he wants and he'll make things a little bit easier for his team as he takes down Panics. Process, though, is trying to make things even, Steven by taking down a player, but that hasn't happened quite yet. Onto the bomb side already, 40 seconds on the clock as the CT scramble together to try to move in for the retake. Kushner has taken down a new one with Cider following up one as well. Now two on four. Krimbo and Process have a big job to do to get here. something done. Ooh, nice one tap coming out from Process. Krimbo set up for that crossfire from Graffiti. So this 2v4 could potentially work out. Now Krimbo, he just needs to get this one on two. He's already made his way pretty much all the way through the door as he's picked up one. And that just leaves Cider. He knows where Krimbo's position is, but it's going to be so difficult to defuse the bomb here because it's exposed for Krimbo. The kit is there, though, and he eventually... As much as they can, three deagles on them. A promise. A scout rifle should come in clutch, though. Big Academy making moves towards C, but before that happens, the Deagles are going to go crazy. Myth has already picked up two, and he's looking good for more, but actually, he ends up going down. The AK overwhelming him, but these smokes are not too good for the T side, because the he's trying to jump through them, I'm not sure what's going on in their heads, but that came up down to the advantage for the CT side, but Krimbo, he's the man who wanted to He's always stepping up. He's picked up two. Gets a third. He might have to make it another clutch to secure it for his team. Bullets missing from the Famasa Cider and Krimbo. Mm, I think they expect this. Flashbang rolls out with the knife out. Process is going to go right in, but his gun does not get pulled out in time. A little bit too much damage for the T side coming in, despite the fact that they were ready for that. And they had the flashbang. Panic. Staying a little bit too true to his name. Panicking the shot there and missing. X Cloud, meanwhile on the on the A bomb side, has denied the bomb plant and picked up two quick kills, leaving Krimbo alone again. And he keeps finding himself success on overpass. Well, is my co-caster in already? I'm gonna have to production control to look that, but meanwhile, Big Academy, they've stormed into the B bomb side. The Tech uh, Nine going Big Academy, they've got Kevlar, they've got a couple gun saved as well. And I think the CT side realizes this. Process, though, being boosted up, has taken Kushner out of the equation. Yeah, I think ideally they were just hoping to try to get these guns away, save them, live to see another day. But, yeah, I don't even think Izzy's going to be granted that opportunity because they're hot on his heels. Hmm, a little bit of contention here towards connector two players already being taken down so big academy are looking to make moves but moves is what cider will do getting the advantage back here in the form of izzy and cider getting a kill apiece that leaves panic from both both the star players for big academy. i think he might have spotted the pixel there on crimbo he's chasing him down this is an insane play from izzy to expect the bomb to be all the way in t-spawn comes around him and picks him up that's not something that anyone could have expected
man, just the, the sheer game sense on this guy and the flicks with the AWP, that just leaves Manic with all the points of health, and uh, they need to solidify this advantage as much as they can. Molotov rolls out the mid, and he stops the push from happening. Monster, complete control being taken here as a tease, Panic, and Scramble to catch a breath early. Comes around, tries to wrap around, but that's the play. Opping skills, and it comes down to this beautiful mix where he can and shut smoke down with a wild flash. He got a kill. Station up top, to try to find something around the smoke. But oh, Hades almost got that, but somehow Izzy, despite the fact that there was a double peek there, he gets the kill and he gets off. Too much being given away for free, too much control being given away here, and he'll live to fight another day. Kishner, though, he's come around from long, he's there to support his team, and it leaves it down to a four versus three. Pretty tough spot for the T's to be in now. I mean, uh, if you're getting hit there, it would have been phenomenal. But Grimbo, though, he's good for one before he drops down. Process and panics. They have to try to stick to this bomb. Too many rounds have been given away to nine already off of these plays from Izzy. But what again, a shot. that one millisecond reaction time coming out from Izzy. Time and time again. And that leaves the opposing AWP player. Can he outshine both the star off or on the nine side? And... Oh, this is insane from Krimbo because he realizes that he can sneak up short without giving up too much information. He gets the player on barrels, he realizes there's plenty of water, turns around, gets that shot, looks for a relatively well. safe from short because... Yeah, absolutely. He, that player on barrels, he always likes to jump spot the monster, but the, yeah, as you mentioned, the grave mistake there that he hides right behind the pillar, so he creeps in and gets them to frags, yeah. So let's see how nine uh, would like to... Hmm, things have already crumbled for the CT side though, because despite the fact that they didn't have much money to work with, I mean, because of the fact- Oh, oh, never mind, X Cloudy! Back. Now I don't think they're gonna be wary to the magic tricks that he has in his hat. I think he might be a little too late though, I think they realized it- realized that they could potentially come up the stairs. Kushner though, he, he has his utility out, he comes up and holds them and it's a lineup, yeah, process! It's, that was a huge job on his hands. The workload of trying to maneuver around with the AWP is something that overwhelms him. Hades with only 7 points of health, uh, still a lot that can be done here, 35 seconds on the clock, the utility has been deployed, they're moving right in, exploit, they great at shutting down the T's before, but he can't replicate that again, he's only good for one, that, but that just might be enough. Hades though, like I said, man, 7 HP. And he still manages to pick up that kill. That could be the game changer here. Cider, he got in a clutch, clutch or two before. Can he do it again? Comes to, oh, what he hope for is to try to overpower one or two of the T's to recover guns or just try to get the advantage. Overpower, though, is exactly what X-Cloud does with Grimbo as he picks up the first. Which is going to the AK, the AWP shot, thankfully for him, being missed. But that just leaves Izzy all alone on the B-Bomb side to try to fend it off on his own. A few shots connecting, but... Uh, not too much damage being done. Three versus four retake now about to happen. Bomb going down at the hands of Anuan. The players go after the retake now. Monster already being the one that has been cleared out. Another spray by Anuan to try to shut out the player moving in from heaven. Ooh, nice little trick from Panics, and I think that just pretty much put Cider in an unwinnable position because he doesn't have a kit. The bomb is taken down, and Anowin is there to pick up. A couple P250s, and a smoke and a flash, a P. One for one, Trox position. While the bomb is going down, Kushner, that play works out for him because he catches the CT down with his uh, out of his pants down. Rimbo, wary to the plays of Kushner, checks behind him, but that doesn't work out. Panics being left alone in a one versus two. The CTs have set him up for success because they got those two initial kills. Makushner, he needs to get a little bit more done. Panics, he's tapped the bomb, he's gone for the smoke, and he realizes that the team is going to have to push in. Kushner, though, seems to be doing a bit of what Krimbo did earlier, but Krimbo, he knows what is up his own sleeve, cannot be found in anyone else's. Big Academy, complete destruction, and new one picks up two, and Frozen is there, just spamming away through Monster, has picked up, two, picked up one as well. Is he insider now? Izzy's made some crazy moves before, and he does again. Still seems to be a little committed. Oh, look at that. He's about to walk into the crosshairs of Anduin, but it doesn't matter. He can immediately react. Process, on the other hand, eliminates the player on short with only 15 seconds. Cider, man, oh man, kind of freedom. 
flank over from Long, but missing the shot though. Crimbo comes out on top. Hades flies Long. Is set up nicely to protect both Crimbo and the bomb site. Get to eliminate sure the play they're going for because the bomb is already ticked down half the way, and unless he can get X Cloud, yep, that's the one uh, point of contest that they had, and they've already lost it. Moving into the bomb site though, for some reason, despite the fact that uh, the bomb is pretty much ticked all the way down, Myth and X Cloud should be granted pretty easy control here of the bomb. Panix realizes that there's no time left. I'm not gonna get plugged by, by like a uh, demand. Just like that. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Lock on the band. As Izzy seems to have it all in his back pocket. No scope to end him. And again, two players, including Krimbo, who's been stepping up greatly. Four on three. Again, the CT side with the disadvantage. This time around, they're going to be a little bit more proactive in stopping the bomb site. Finding them in positions where they're on the retake. Like to capitalize off of it, they are hunting. They know that they should not let the CT save. But yeah, so... Fighting back on the Academy pick. Now the rush is coming in from 9. The Molotov definitely to try to swing out and fight back. But these weapons are entirely overpowering them. Coming in for the retake, gets a, tries to get a little bit of damage done before it gets too bad. Now they have the angles already. Hades somehow still coming out on top in a duel, though with one bullet left, he has to go for the reload, and as he tries to cross, as he tries to reposition, he has been pushing down. Panic and Frembo. Kushner trying to play a little bit for the style points here as he tries to go for a one-tap. Tries to look a little bit stylish, but I'm sorry, man, you're never going to look as stylish as Frembo in his hoodie. <laughs> you gotta appreciate that player photo, man. But, uh... Very important clutch for Big Academy to be going for here. They've already gotten one player. Can they be good for two more? Grimbo! Ooh, his hoodie comes on. And he's trying to replicate he's about that. to come in with 45 seconds on the clock. Hades throwing that smoke. They're gonna try to sneak past the smoke and with the flashbang being timed perfectly, that steps up, that sets up Kushner, sorry, for the anti-flash. Pan is trying to come out through the smoke. The A side, but yeah, definitely yeah, nine is these. The good thing for them here is that they have a bunch of weaponry. Oh, oh. though, solid tap to the head to eliminate Krimbo, the catalyst. Fortunately, hasn't found too much luck in these past three rounds, which is probably where it was needed the most. The CTs being down a, down a man, a very critical one of that. They lose yet another aim duel as Prozis tries to hop away, and Nguyen being punished for his attempt at a refrag, despite the fact that he gets it. Comes down to a 3v2. Panix needs to make something huge happen because he's a wielder of the AWP. He needs to make Green Goblin a much more relevant villain in the Spider Man universe. Maybe so he picked up two, and I thought he, that Panix was going to tap the bomb real quick to try to bait out the shots from Cider, and that is the really correct go without information, without a kill. The harder it is for them to the bomb that now the utility rolls in. Hades is in a pivotal position because he's hiding his anti flash towards the toilets. He gets the first player. They're moving into his crosshairs, but his crosshairs are obscured. The flash mang is way too much for him to handle. And now the three, three players on the CT side, they have to make something happen. Primo is a man you want alive in this situation. He comes alive for real, though, as he sprays away with the M4. X Cloud goes down. The bomb is going down as well. 15 to 10. They're on match point. Big Academy needs to try to prevent this. Nine want to bring it to map number three. So definitely a lot at stake here. Cider though, he gets a quick headshot done. Two on. And the CT is there. They're already on the bomb side. They cannot afford to do anything but try to get the bomb. They spam away on the truck. They don't find the kill, and that's going to be the mission to shoot off of that smoke. Nine, we've seen them get some nasty things done with pistols, but panics. He has something else in terms of dinner reservations as he eats them up with his M4. Three on two though still. Cider and Kushner have set themselves up nicely to potentially bring themselves back in. Grimbo. He's gonna have a world of hurt if he gets flashed out here. Tries to swing out wide, but the flashbang timing is perfect. I don't think they realize a the position, but peeking around the smoke, that's a bit of a mistake. He goes down, and it just comes down to a new one. Five on four, the terrorists have the advantage, so this is bad news for the 
out of here especially because they've lost Bandix moving through the smoke though that's a critical mistake coming from Big Academy they've lost they've lost all footing this is going to be map number three unless Hades can pull off something crazy and Izzy is just playing for style points at this point I mean just be hopping away Spider should be there to clean up this kill and that is it GG but or get fresh esports matches 24 7 even when events are offline but this event is online right now as they move into the a-bomb site process of already picked up two playing off of these silos and a new one is there to chime in a lot of missed shots here that could cost him as kushner is maneuvering around the bomb site the bomb being dropped now though a new one sorry Sider. nothing coming out of the putt just yet actually paddock still he landed shot on izzy and they're about to be sandwiched by these mp9s that are waiting on the other end they need to be able to jump right now. Hades, despite the close range angle, he misses the MP9 shots, but his teammates won't. Really good, really good round by 9 as well, but good save from... Throwing in those rounds if you're on the 9 side. Rambo getting a little bit aggressive, but before he can fire the shot, he has generally few Qs, and that'll make him see two a little bit. In the... X Cloud, though, he might have spotted one on the shoulder peak. Now he has and confirmed... Kushner again with the interfrag there as well. Side. The pressure's on you to not only get those rounds, off of your positional advantage, but it's also to secure your members from dying. Hades though gets a little bit too aggressive here, and he will pay for it for his life. X Cloud in mid, they've gotten a kill apiece, but Ferocious is there to bring in the equalizer. Cider coming out from A main. He's opened up the bomb side, but panic is the point of contest. Rimbo is coming up, coming out from the opposing angle. He's watching up top, so it's going to be difficult for him to find that angle. Maddox, having already gotten one, he just needs to secure the kill on Izzy. He has the information, but he just has to avoid the AWP there. He can get up close and personal. It keeps the excitement there. Yeah, a bit of a panic, the you say. Excitement, though. Process. He's about to get seven kills flying out left and right. And, uh... An absolute shooting gallery there. Everyone down one by one. Can't even blame them for that though. Nine just coming out swinging. Mega Academy having a lot, a little bit. They have all the money they can possibly need. And it doesn't to get a player with the USB, which is always a little interesting to see. I mentioned just yet for a second there, I thought I heard something. But nine taking control of outside. That flashbang will be, will, will be perfect as Cider opens up the door for him to slap Panics across the face. Of course, with an AWP, we don't condone violence. <laughs> yeah, slap people with an AWP, not with your hands. Yep. Yeah, that probably hurts a lot more, let's be honest, but <laughs> Ferocious is going to show us where the pain comes from. And behind the stairs, though, that's a very tough shot from him for him to connect. Oh, the window. Oh, Nine tried to go for a bit of a faster play there. But if they do, they'll have this uh, these closures to worry about. This has worked for them before, but Anuin has something else to say about that. Now they're getting assaulted here on A side. But Karimbo Anuin, nice little crossfire setup for them. It doesn't end up working out too well. To go but for it. He spots the player, but missing that shot, that pretty much uh, takes him out of contest here. Let's see if this works out for him, though. Molly and Flash three rounds for the T side. And that's not something they can afford. They're on the CT side. They have the positional advantage, and they want to maintain it. Process. Pushing up lobby secures the advantage. Very good control from the big academy side. They pushed in, got an aggressive uh, kill, and then they went passive as well. Mm, bro, another kill coming from him. Kushner, though, we've seen him be great at these entries, and great is exactly what he'll be. Picks up one. Lucky for him, though, is not grazed by the bullet of panics. He's making their plays towards the B-bomb site. Izzy, perfect position from him to shut down the push coming in from Anuin. Bomb being planted for the door. But he's wary of the tricks up the CC sleeve. Oh, oh man, that could have gone really sour had it not been for the smoke. Cider though, he's ready for that. It's not gonna matter. He still manages to get two, and he's good to plant the bomb as well. Panics, like I said, man, this was such a crucial round for the CT side unless Panics can secure it, which he looks to be making his way into. This could be a disaster. Izzy, the one main threat in the form of an op, has been taken down. Panics clearing out these angles one by one, but the T side is not letting this go without a fight either. They aren't exposing any angles just yet. He spots one player, he shoots the heavies, and there's...
Mills is pushing up outside. Oh, he's in a great position. He's on top of Redcon. And he's able to secure the kill on Cider. Has is he before anything can happen? He will take one. He does... Is he? Ooh, it could cost him to not connect that shot, but his teammates immediately chime in. Moving into the A bomb right now, though. Perros has under it. Possesses, turns around, he picks up the player on A main, but uh, destruction coming out from the CT side as they annihilate the push coming in. Izzy, again and again, finding himself, holding this AWP near and dear like a, like a child that he's very fond of, but uh, fortunately he's not able to materialize any kills off of that. But the question is, is the balance back in here too much? The T now pushing in, they've already lost a player, but they can get two. The CTs though, making... Well, they're butchering the Ts left and right. And this is something that Nine desperately need, because you have to keep in mind that the pistol round is a lot more important for the CC Find side. Because Find some information outside, he knows that Izzy, the opposing opper, is right there. But Hades though, as he drops, he executes Kushner. That'll leave them in a 4 on 4. Excellent, a huge job for him to do here as he tries to protect Ramp alone, but Krimbo, we've seen the great... Uh, we've seen some great kills from him earlier, and he will stay true to that performance. Krimbo running in through the fire, through the flames, and through the sadness of carrying two maps, and that's still not being enough. He gets that kill. Big Academy now, putting themselves in the pilot seat here. Good stuff coming out from them, and Nine, like I said, they have to be worried. They they lose if they lose this round, they the flashbang and the flashbang to come through along with the door being opened. He flips around, gets the first kill, but he's only good for one before he goes down. The Molotov to try to flush him out of his position, but he's playing the he's shimming around these corners, but he gets caught out around the smoke. Four on three, the T's again on the advantage, and the CT's again in the back seat because that's the cruel nature of the CT side. If you can't chain together these bombs, Panic should be able to pick this one. Oh, oh, X Cloud somehow beating the op in the end, despite him walking into the crossers of Panic. But that kill going down though, this actually puts them in a spot where the retake isn't entirely impossible. Is he picking that one up? Now he's in a position where a new one is. A tasty morsel that he could potentially pick up. Catch the bomb and Lewin is coming out swinging Five with though. The secret has been smoked off, but one CT shimmying around the smoke. Unfortunately, though, he gets caught out immediately. That's just one player outside, though. A lot more to come through on ramp. Flashbang from X Cloud, nice to be placed. Izzy is there to back him up. The flashbang rolls out from the CT on the terrorist side as well. Two kills being picked up by X Cloud. A third. Could have been a fourth had he not had to go for the reload, but Anuin and Krembo are still alive and kicking. These are the players that can shine when you need them most. Anuin, though, he will be cursed with only three points of health. Making his way towards ramp. Rimbo generally never losing these duels will be the one to fall. X for loud with already with four. He's been stepping up when his team needs it the most. That is that, that is gonna show in this round. I mean it, it it does come down to a one on two. I mean, what can you ask from this man single handedly stopping any control from being taken over in ramp? Potentially change the outcome of the game. Just based off of the individual plays, but well, as I say that, Big Academy, they've already made their way for Squeaky. Myth picks up two with the MP9. Pick that up. So he can have can see middle. here, because losing this would mean that Nine have no money to work off of. That missed shot to change everything. For this would be incredibly difficult for the Oh, but Myth is there to say the that. T's were playing off of the information that one of the T's was sitting outside on A side. They could come out off there. on the T side, knocked down, not quite out there. And Cloud, you know, the iron wall that you need on ramp, but can he pull it off again? He's picked up two kills and the bomb, so I think he's done his job here. It's really, uh, but again. Ooh, they actually have decent economy now, so they can fight back as much as they want. Now, the ball is in their court. Grimbo 
taking down Spider. That's the opening that they need, but Izzy's always around the corner for the Equalizer. Kushner being so close to the action, I think is going to matter a lot whether or not he can take the first two kills. Panic, open things up. Kushner gets the player on the door, but Izzy again with the Tech 9, chimes right in for the Equalizer again, comes around main, but gets taken down by Panics. X Cloud alone. He's been playing ramp, he's been playing it to perfection, relying on his teammates to hold the fort on everything else. Now he has to try to get the clutch. Can this be asked of him? Can this be a position that he can play off of and bring his team to match point? Friends, those angles, panics, have a lot more pressure on ramp, but they have weapons. But the Molotov should be stopping them quite a bit. He swings out wide, he gets the AWP shot in. Rosas picks up one in response, and Izzy is the man that is still alive. He is the Grim Reaper, and he's been picking up souls left and right. Rosas and Izzy are the only ones alive that the CPs have yet to deal with. Dylan coming out the vents. He gets the first. Backs off into vent as well, so this sets them up, sets them up nicely. Rosas, though, he's slaying around Having that last round. Such a bad position to be in, but Cyber makes that a little better for them as he... Nudges them in the right direction with a kill from the CP. But this position from though. Process, though. Nicely. Kushner, he realizes that he's about to be faced with them, but he turns away at the wrong time. Still manages to pick up that kill. Picking up the M4. This could... And doesn't get anything off of that. First one they greet. And he will have the AWP in front of the doorbell. Gets two before he falls. Those are important kills for him to be getting there. But will they be enough? X Cloud setting himself up nicely, but the audio information has been given away as he drops. The terror is still quite scattered. He gets Smith. He's gotten the advantage there, but for how long? Because it comes down to a 3 to 2. 9. They want to play this for the overtime. They the Big Academy hasn't had great experiences going up the vents before. And they're gonna decide to focus with that now. Rimbo, he's in a great position to catch out. X Cloud had had he if only he had stayed in the previous position, that could have been a different story, but Kushner, he has something to say about this. He wants to make it a tie as soon as possible so they can move to the overtime, but I don't think Big Academy are in the mood for another drawn-out series. Krembo, nice few shots on him, and now it all comes down to Cider. And this could be the game-changer here. This is their tournament life on the line. Cider coming up from observation. He's looking for the angles here. He has two opposing angles that he has to clear out. One right under him. He spots Grimbo. He's making a case for overtime, but he has to worry about the deadly AOE mechanics. He takes oh. his decon. He turns around. He lands a shot on Cider 2, and he's he going to bring it to overtime. He saves 9. Taking control of outside. That's the play that uh, seems to work out for them. This time around, though, trying to push away. Main Ferocious is the one to fall. And a bit of a bit of a crossfire setup coming in, but that doesn't work out too well for them. Izzy and X Cloud left with the double op setup, and this is way too much of a commitment to be making. But Izzy, he comes up the ladder. Ooh, if he had gotten anything off of that, perhaps it would be a doable situation. But we've seen nine players turn up. Will he be turning up to the club though? Is he ready to dance? Finds one. I don't think. That where Frimbo is just a counterplay to a counterplay through Izzy though. Oh, doesn't find the angle, but Ferocious does with his AK. Izzy gets a shot, cannot connect anything further. But with Big Academy with the advantage, 9 need to stop this fast. On the other hand, Frimbo has already made his way up towards heaven. He's slowly creeping in. I don't think they understand what his position is. Krimbo's position can make or break this round for Big Academy here. And he gets the kill. Oh, he falls the second. Very nice oh, yeah. try by him. He could have secured that too. That would have been the game changer. But 9, they want to take this overtime as far as they can. They want to close it out in their favor. Come through any time. They're very close to potential push that can come through outside. Now Miz playing from the bomb site immediately gets picked up. Cider though. Ooh, like that. For CTs. Apologies, I meant Kushner who went to here who uh, wasn't able to really take the duels there. But Cider and Cloud now, which pretty much looks like the half might be in the favor of Big Academy unless unless Cider can do something crazy. Seen him pull off the one, but I think uh, a one versus four might be no denying that. Here comes 
is up close. He gets a kill, but he's immediately traded out, though. The CT side getting insane amounts of damage done. Three players already out, but Karimbo not revealing, revealing his position just yet. He's able to pick up another. Is he now left all alone? Oh, he's gotten these clutches before. And is definitely these. the make or break. Oh, he dies. I cannot believe that he's able to out off the offer with the AK-47, but Krimbo moves right in, tries to take matters into his own hands, but the only thing he'll be taking into his own hands, or rather head, is the bullets. A checkmate is the way I see it, because the ramp is pretty much secured entirely, but is he missing, missing that shot? Might be just the opening that they need, but Cider chimes in, he has something else to say about that. He takes Broke down, is he taking down Panics, it leaves Hades and... And now... They're about to walk into the crosshairs of Hades. Ramp control is slowly being established. Banix there as the secondary offer to potentially hold this off. 25 seconds and new in great position for him to shut down this lobby push. This could potentially be a GG if he can capitalize on this. Process, he needs to get something done off of this vent's position. Has been Ooh, is he the next? Will be the first point of contest. This is really big information there for our big academy as well. Decides okay, to make a move. Get anything done here. Insider, he's thrown a pretty convincing face over towards A. The bomb crossing over to the B bomb site. The Molotov should be there to try to interrupt it, but it doesn't work out. Panics realizes that he's gonna have to peek because of the Molotov. And he goes to the shot. The comes around, ramp against one. He looks for the second, but Panics is there to immediately stop that. Cider and Panics now in. A standoff. Cider with uh, arguably the advantage here because he has the HP, he has the bomb down for himself, and he realizes that Panics is quite low. The nade comes out. Panics repositions because he doesn't want to get chucked away simply because of the nade. The bomb is still being diffused, and with the scope being how big Academy the way up heaven, I think Panics understands that there's the potential of a player being there. He goes for a pot shot, smokes himself off, and that is crucial information which could have changed the outcome of the round. X cloud, cloud though. Stops the person from lobby because he thinks that there's players coming in from outside and he wants to get as much information as possible, but that's something that works out in the favor of nine. X Flout again going huge for his team as he picks up Krimbo. Three on three. Panics needs to hold the fort here on the A bomb site, but he has two different angles to worry about. Molly's out one and he's checking for the second. Hades gets a kill with the M4. Panics follows suit. Cider. Nine now we don't want to give up all rounds on the T on the CT side. Big Academy though, they've already picked up two, but X Flout again and again he comes alive for the team to bring in the equalizer to bring in the big game jump. right there. But at the same time, nine are now fighting an uphill battle because they've already lost two rounds and another man, and that just leaves Izzy in the position where he has to try to go. If they want to get it to third over time. They don't have a room Cider, for error. So, oh, he's starting to make a bit of a case for perfection as he takes down one. I don't think you realize that there's already a player in Garage though, Krimbo. He's the one threat that's always in the back of the minds of every team that they've played against. Just by virtue of how insane he's been. Picks up a second and that might be what changes everything. Myth. Picks up two quick kills, tries to go for a third, but Panics catches a midair, X Cloud and Kushner. Heaven entirely, because he's going to be expecting at least one of them from to come to remain. There, because that can. And they can't afford to make it. I mean, I'll just put it like that. A Myth has pulled something out of the bag before. He's gotten two kills on top of the hut, but now he needs to do it again. And Nguyen takes down Izzy. He's the one player for those clutch situations, and he's already down. Myth is expecting this push from Heaven, but he's three players to deal with the hand. Flashbang rolls out, and before he can pop it, he's there to pick it up. Kushiner, big job on his hands, but he's only able to get one X Cloud. What else can you ask from that man with that Molotov ignited? This would be a huge clutch for him to try to get, but Big Academy, they've, they've pretty much gotten themselves a win, but X Cloud, he gets one. He's trying to fight this uphill battle, he's trying to get something done. Behind the silo, he finds another angle, he picks up another. This could be the clutch. He gets a third, but he's taken down by the fourth, and process was low too, so such a heartbreaking defeat for him, despite the fact that he almost got the clutch there, and that is going to be a GG WP. What a close game being played by nine, and you really gotta commend them for that.